um, I, I'm going to say something that might be a little controversial, but I don't think it should be controversial. Mm-hmm. I think it's really difficult to be weird. I think, I think having regular, well, not regular, but like lots of, well, not lots, like small, small tiffs, like you've done something small to irritate or upset me. Mm-hmm. It's a conversation. We can get over that. I didn't like what you did in this. I feel like that's very normal. Absolutely. But when people do grandiose things that are, <laughs> that are weird, yeah. He just said grandiose. <laughs> anything after that that. oh and there's some (laughs) awkward (laughs) hi guys welcome to a brand new episode of the look at this podcast brand new my name is valerie i'm t gob and on today's episode we have a very i didn't want to use this um phrase but like she is just giving very demure very yeah, cutesy very you know mindful. very mindful very like i'm here you can feel my presence but i'm quiet i love it <laughs> allow me to introduce to you the very very talented yeah. dina how you doing dina hi ladies hi hi how are you feeling Good i feel you. thank you nice to be here i feel very Zen, you see, okay, nice. so. very demure. <laughs> How are you feeling? How have you been? I have been um living life. On Wait, the low low. Are we good? Okay, okay. So tell us how you been. I've been living life on the low low. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just living, doing me, yeah. trying to be better every day. How is um uh, rainy season going? Rainy season is um it's moving. Yeah. It's moving, so I'm I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Do you, want, do you want to talk about it, like the EP? Do you want to talk about it? Um, so I just released my seventh EP, oh, wow. and it's called Rainy Season. Um, just four tracks. It's just a play on our current um season. It's mm-hmm. very chill, very mature. Um, yeah, it's just feel good music. Getting ready for the club type of music. Mm-hmm. You're in the house with that girl or guy or they or them, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. it's just that kind of vibe. So. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I've I've I think I've only heard one song, but like I really like your voice has really come so much stronger from when you started. Thank you, thank like, you, thank you. So much stronger. It's so interesting to like see. Well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know how this industry can be. So. Ah, my girl. The consistency yeah. for me, girl. Like, <laughs> like you've really, like, you've really been at this music thing for a minute and a half. Like, I feel like, you know, I've sacrificed my whole life for it. So what's the point of, mm-hmm. like, can I cuss? Can I cuss? Oh, yes, you can. Okay, so, like, I have to, I can't be pussyfooting anymore. Yeah. I just have to be like, bitch, I'm yeah. here. So That's where you're back into it, man, I, at this point. We're, we're actually talking about this on, like, we're, we're, we're on a different episode. We're talking about how, like, you have to, like, the chances that you get, like, you really have to, like, shoot your best mm-hmm. shot. I feel like we, sometimes we, like, human factor and everything else, but, like, you feel like, you can always get another opportunity or something else to come along. Sometimes I feel like we can be careless with the opportunities that come our way, but like we're getting older, especially for me. I'm just like, any opportunity that comes my way now, eh, I would always put like my best possible foot forward and energy. And like, I feel like that's what you've been doing. So I love that. Uh, I mean, I'm glad it looks like that. Yeah. I feel like I've definitely fumbled a few bags. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like human nature. Like it's normal normal. to fumble, girl. Well, fair enough. Girl. Some major bags, actually. But (laughs) like you said, like I'm getting older now. Mm -hmm. And like I'm more cognizant of who I am and what I want and what the Mm -hmm. game really is. You You know, sentiments aside, like work is work Mm -hmm. and that's that. So I'm also trying to make sure that I utilize every opportunity that I have Mm -hmm. and just put my best foot forward no matter how i'm feeling that day yeah. or whatever so yeah, yeah that's just no okay game. fair enough i wish you like all the success you know? thank you it's very exciting thank you <laughs> um are we going to 
um do what should we do first look for this little moment really of cool, yeah. the week so we do this thing where we kind of talk about a little relatable moment that okay. you had so okay. you're the guest on this episode so you have to do it i have a perfect one <laughs> um <laughs> so my mom and i were going to yaba mm -hmm. on monday and as soon as we ascend from third mainland bridge to like Mm -hmm. Yabba's underpass, mm -hmm. the car stops working. Eh? Man. Oh, oh my god. god. Monday afternoon around two o'clock. Oh my Immediately, god. Immediately you had the area guys. Listen, the Uganda you like. <laughs> Bro, it was Aye. and you was just you and your mom. Just me, my mom and her dumbass driver. Aye. Uh, <laughs> I think um the fact that I described him like that Sorry, means he was very, very useless in that scenario. He was too useless. Cheek. I had to end up calling oh, somebody I put on a ban to come, yeah. and, to come and save us, you know. And uh, it was it was just very chaotic. There, my mom was trying to. My mom was like, "What well, in your?" She was like, "Me and will." And I was just like, "Bro, like, can you just? You're giving me anxiety right mm -hmm. now. Nigeria is tough. Nigeria is tough. You know, for just real. let's just be chill. But you know, that's my low key relationship. That's definitely low key relationship. I can't even lie. Yeah, because like that car stopping on anywhere. Eh, like haven't I told you about my car stopping in the flood? <laughs> No? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you the story. No. <laughs> I was coming back from a club. Oh my god! It was literally like maybe like six in the morning. I was coming back from the strip club, oh. <coughs> and I was dropping someone off at home. So I dropped her. Her her house was off Freedom Way. Mm -hmm. So. There was like I didn't even know that it had rained like that. I didn't even on. I didn't even when we came like when we were driving on the road and the floor was wet. We're like ah, it was raining. Okay, so that means obviously that night was going. Mm -hmm. I see flood and I'm just like, ah, yeah. I don't. I'm like, ah, okay, like okay, like what's the worst that can happen? Like why can't we go off oh now? My God. So, I drove into her streets. I dropped off. I drove out. I was just coming back onto like. The first, like the last year before I get on Freedom Way, <laughs> this is for my cargo. <laughs> like, it I literally just went off. Motion. You know, <laughs> when it happened, I tried to turn, I, like, I thought I imagined it, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, I, I well. was like, but my car, <laughs> Maybe it wasn't I was like, but well. my car is on. Like <laughs> maybe it needs to honor. You know, you know what, you know, you know. When I realized that like, <laughs> it was, it was on. Uh, I started laughing. What would you do? Like I immediately started laughing. What would you do? Um, Crying is a sign of weakness. I just left it in neutral, and I kept trying to get it to push past. Like I was in water, like if, like I was surrounded. So if you open your door, it have entered. Yes. Jesus. So the car just like was just Child. moving really slowly. You know, honestly, at least a cigarette. Like, I just wanted to... Honestly, do. because what can you really do at uh, that point? At least a cigarette. So, like, I was trying to, like, just get the car to, like, just, like, keep moving. And then, obviously, some guys had seen me and oh. then came to start pushing my car. So, they pushed my car from Freedom Me to my house. <gasps> Fair. Oh, you had... That's... You had moved, Abby. Yes. They oh. pushed it from Freedom Me to my house. It's, like, it's not that far, but it's a considerable... It's a, yeah, considerable it's distance. A, if you're pushing a fucking car... I shall, I shall push, literally push it to my estate gate and like I parked it by like the estate gate and um I walked home mm. and it had rained so like I was okay I had crocs in the car like what my crocs shall inside anyway <laughs> long story short that morning was so funny because when I was younger if I was person, that person like I would have tired like panicking I'd have been angry I'd have been um, I was not sober so I just said, let me just smoke cigar and relax. Mm -hmm. Like I think honestly that was the best thing I did to myself. And immediately I got to my estate, the security guards just sort of like intercepted because the guys, obviously, a good amount of guys had helped me. So they were now trying to like obviously ask for money. And yes, I'm gonna send you money, but I'm trying to send the money, you know, like I'm on my phone sending is, but like they were like getting aggy. Right. So my security guard now came to stand next to me, then brought one of them and down stood next to me. So I I think I sent I sent him forty k. What? 
Yeah, because yeah, a good it was person like, though. Yeah. Uh, it was like, it was like eight, it was am like, I not a woman? It was like eight of them. Nah, no, no. Forty thousand. Yeah, that's all right. Five, five k now. That's decent. How much did I, How much did you have sent? Twenty k, man. Whole uh-uh, body. No, no. Because you can't have that much to do if you're pushing my car. No, Jesus. but if you think of it like this, if they didn't push her car, what would happen? Nobody would have pushed That's pushed what I was thinking about. It was first you would have left your car there. By the time they carry Fact your brain yeah. box, by the time yeah. they carry your brain box, you know that forty k. I felt like it was they, they saved me so exactly. much. Yeah. Fair enough, and like fair I remember that I said I was not sober and I was alone. Yes, yeah, exactly. I like, like, wow. that's like jazz hours. Do you I don't know. It's just giving. <laughs> Babe, I just I was just happy to be home, bro. You know, so literally see me sprinting down in my estates with, <laughs> you know in my what? crocs and my scandalous outfits from the night out. Like it was it was actually insane. Fair. Damn. Oh, yeah, my car gosh. trouble is very humbling. <laughs> it's very humbling. I feel car trouble is even more humbling when you're driving a big car. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even more <laughs> when you when you have a nice ride, like you don't know shame. This guy is you a big fool. No, <laughs> I, no, I go talk about Ooh. you don't know shame. So you're driving a big body. One day, are you not in your head in agreements? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I would love to see it. Actually, you don't know. Like before, like before, <laughs> it it catch me, colobi me, eh? Before it colobi me, I used to be like, oh. And that's like a 2022 Rachel Uh-uh. They say Rachel problem. Uh-uh. That's a 2022 Mercedes. Uh-uh. uh uh-uh. What's wrong with it? Yeah. Until the day he called me and I stood by the... You know the the hood? The mat was open. I was just standing there because no... Oh, no, my no, God. To honest, I was just standing like this. Oh, my God. At the side of the street. No humility more than that. Try. I changed my life. Changed that day. car breakdown yeah. is really a very locally relatable moment, man. 100%. That was a fantastic that was one, a lovely one. You ate with that one. You ate with that one. Like, come on. <laughs> May you not catch us again. Ah, amen. 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 Oh. amen. Mm-hmm. amen. Anyway, let's get into our topic, quote unquote, of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, as of accountability, side eyes to me. I don't. First of all. <laughs> First, first of all, right. Okay, I was joking. I was joking. I, I was no, joking. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk on it. Put the camera on me like this. Do like this. Let's be looking at each other. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is T Gabs Oluwatomi Aringaba, and I'm accountable. Ah, I scream! Do hold I do hold accounts. Okay, so, so for context, I'm salty because <laughs> we came to film the podcast late, and I apologize. I, I say, should I kneel down? Okay, to say. No. The apology say, is cool. Sure? She's she accountable. No. She just needs to stop fucking coming to film podcast late. Honestly. Isn't that yes. a better accountability? What do you yes, think, Dina? Yes, I agree. Dina, um, what do you think? Is is it I is it better? No, why not? Don't worry. Why, 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 why not fight? Why not? I don't know, <laughs> why why not fight? <laughs> so, like... Valerie would have left by now. Do you think... Is, is it, don't you think is, is like... I, I appreciate the apology. Fantastic. Yeah, human nature, whatever, life, everything, I get it. But then, isn't it being more, it's more accountability, isn't it like by now showing up on time? Oh, this is something that is reoccurring? This babe, if if I, if I you know if they tell you to bet on someone that will be late to somewhere? I have to, ta- listen, she, first of all. It's her. Told me, she will show up, but she'll be late. The only time she was early was to my pop-up. My first pop-up, she came very I early. Mean, like I mean. she came she <laughs> was there she was right there ready to do sales girl self she came early for that really one I, I would i would i would say that but that was also because she wanted to leave early no i had a headache i had this <laughs> oh, man. Why, that's why valerie that's why sometimes okay, that's well, why you're bold first of all <laughs> that's why you're bold <laughs> first of all so, because you don't used to tell the complete story, so why will your head be complete? <laughs> That's why you're bored. <laughs> okay. <I'm screaming. laughs> First of all, I got there early because that's my guy, and I knew she was having nerves. Mm-hmm. I knew she was having nerves. Oh so my god, I yes, I also nervous. I had to be there, she cannot be alone. So, at the ass crack of dawn, after working. I was working the night before and my yeah, work do be like a witch in the night. 
that's you number were, you one. You actually were keeping nice before. Yes. That's true. So as I did not sleep, we I had not drank water. Sorry. Nothing. This we are talking about your me. late coming. We are talking you about do. accountability. If I bite you, if Tommy, I bite you, Tommy. Tommy. Then, Tommy. then my head started paining me, and I felt detached. And when I said, "Whoa." People are here. I cannot die. Joe, please. Yes, okay. Actually, yeah, she did leave I when said, someone I'm else going. came. That's also true. Okay. See? Take you're accountability accountable. for you're telling accountable. Whole story. You're accountable. You're accountable. I'll stop you. <laughs> Do you know what I start doing? I start telling you things at two hours before they actually are. Yeah. And sometimes you need to do that. So that you would now wait. That's fine. I and I would now you know come what the late. Thing is? I don't mind waiting, you know. Even though you're always late. I don't mind waiting. Me, I hate waiting. Though. I always feel like I a fool. Mind ah! I don't mind <laughs> waiting. I want to be the latest person there. I don't care. Let me not lie. Let me not <laughs> lie. It depends. It depends. If I'm waiting for my guys, I don't mind waiting. I'm not the type of late comer, yeah, that will now come on time and then be doing, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Same, where are you? same, same. If I to can't be, honest, be on time, if yeah. you tell me, it is important. Not saying the podcast is not important. So, yay, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Not saying the podcast is not important. You know, today, you know, you hey, <laughs> today was a mistake. It was an oversight on my part. I it's say it. I say it. I'm actually if, dead. If it's, if it's podcast is important, that one is there. If it's important. Okay, so you do take accountability, Shah, for sure. If it's nature, that I need to be there. If it's a flight, I've never missed I mean, a flight. I've missed a flight, but it's not because I was not in the airports. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 just that so i yes i apologize that I, and i feel like even when i'm waiting for people mm-hmm. do you know what yeah let me not lie my lateness is and it's not an excuse it's because of the adhd i have time blindness mm. i can blink i can do like this and it's six o'clock it was 10 it was 10 a.m i'm sorry but is this happening is it happening accountable girl <laughs> <laughs> First of all, first of all, <laughs> shut up, both of you. This is a real thing. <laughs> no, because I'm always late. I'm always late as well. Exactly. But girl, at least I, I can own it. No, I do own it. I'm but always I, late because I'm I badly behaved. No, I'm not badly behaved. I do make attempts. Honestly, I make attempts. They just never work out. <laughs> I swear. I uh, Listen, do, let me tell you, you something. Like, do you feel like maybe just, 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 just maybe you, you might not be trying hard enough? No. You don't I, think so? I you lot don't listen. I can't lie. I showered at like one fifteen, but my house is literally here. No, I'm like I, I, I got here. I literally, people. I literally between when I showered and I like I, I was I was parking outside at like just like two on the dots. I agree. My own is, I try. That's the thing. People think I don't try. I try. Okay. I try. Do you know all the fights that me and my manager have is because of lateness. And 90% of the time I have tried. Mm. Do you know how many times that I will be there early? I will be there early. Yeah. Mm. Then she'll say, no, 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 no. Don't come. They're not ready for you. So I'll do something else. I'll go somewhere else. And now. So I think that's the problem, right? I feel like when you come, but but you you actually, it's not every time, but when you come from home, you come earlier. But when you go and run errands, hundred and fifty. This is what I'm telling you about the time blindness. Oh, hundred. Gotcha. The reason I'm early when I'm is this accountability, Gina, When I'm at home, she's just an excuse. I don't excuses. give a shit if you love it. Don't think it's accountability. Anyway, I, you know, I just to say my one life. thing. I just have to say one it's thing. Yes, tell me. Isn't it amazing how you're never late for flights though? <laughs> no, it's not. Shall I tell you why? Why but exactly? Why I won't be late from when I'm coming from my house mm-hmm. if I know. I have something to do at 12. So are you saying that you've never run errands before a flight? I was about to say no. that. Eh? Say, oh, no, Told me. The flight. It, Even it, if it's evening. I, I don't believe I don't believe that. Oh, if it's evening, I will sell, tell myself, let's say I have to be at the airport for six. I have to be in my house, back in my house, whatever I'm doing. So by your two. time blindness does not occur then, Abby? Of course it does. That's why I have to be back in my house by two. So I can just sit for when I have to work, go go to the I'm airport. so tickled by this, but I hear you. Do you know what, yeah? Do you know what I've, do you know what I've honestly realized, yeah? I've honestly realized when you have ADHD, yeah, mm-hmm. all of these things make sense to you. They will never make sense to anybody else. You you don't know. You guys don't know the time paralysis that happens here. Yeah? That you have something to do 
at three. You think you've you have calculated? So much time? Not even that. You've calculated. Let's not even three is even a good time. You have something to do at six. Mm -hmm. You've calculated your time back. Yeah. All right. Cool. I take two hours to get dressed. So just so I have extra time, I'm gonna start at three thirty. Oh, I need to uh do a before that. I need to do this. So I need to be the, from like ten. So that free, you have to get ready. You can't do anything because by mistake, you decide to take on any or task you get distracted. or you do anything. You'll get distracted. You'll blink and it's six o'clock. Now everybody's on your fucking neck because you're late. Okay, fair no, enough. Nobody, I guess there's an angle. Nobody, listen. Tommy, so are you saying that? So I, uh -huh. Okay, Shaf, we've had you, no problem. Thank you very much. But let's let's talk about the act of accountability, not... Like ex taking like how many minutes was that explanation that exactly. they just gave? Because you people are dragging me like a small fucking jet. Oh, say you, 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 say um, anyway, so let's talk about taking accountability. Um, first of all, I'm, let me be the first to say is that it's very easy oh, for me to tell someone to take accountability for what they've done, but when it's my turn, it's very, very hard for me. Yeah. I'm not saying that I wouldn't. I would. I've grown up to learn to, like, my ego is, I always gauge the scenario, Sha. But I think not taking accountability is one of the things that actually absolutely is a relationship destroyer for me. Fair. Um, I feel like a lot of like relationships that not even necessarily like romantic stuff, like yeah, even friendships, friendships as well. Um, and even work wise, you could even you could even add mm. that like when there is just this blatant like okay, let's say for example. I feel slighted in a certain way. Mm. And like your you say that that was not your intention, right? I get that. That's cool that that was not your intention, but it doesn't change the fact that this is what like what has now happened, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like the thing uh, so so over time people I've learned that people can be very shy to have kinds of conversations like conversations like that cuz it seems confrontational. Mm. But I feel like it's easier to just say things as they are, obviously with reason, mm -hmm. because it just makes like life so much easier. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I used to be this person that will not talk about anything. I will bottle things up, and then like you just want random things to me one day, and then and you flare up. I will literally run mad, right? So mad. honestly, oh honestly, like like honestly, I had very terrible. Um, what 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 would I call it? Mood management. Like mm. I did I did not know how to regulate myself normally. <laughs> like for real. Like I, I, I think I had the like I had to do a lot of inward like like looking because like why why but then all these things that happened if I had communicated it and I had said mm. Most of the times, these people have said that they were willing and they would have been, they would have wanted to be like held mm. accountable for mm. those things, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't make sense to have like busted it up and like everything. But I really hate when you've tried to express a point, like get a point across, very clear, very open. Like you've literally said, this diffuser on, is on the table and I hate it. Mm -hmm. And the person is now saying, but I bought you the diffuser, bro. That's like, do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're, we're not, obviously, we're not even communicating. And then, like, it's it, it, it's annoying me still. Like, I've mm -hmm. said I don't like it. So, putting it here, even though it was, do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. things go across is, like, I think that's just that's definitely something that I always struggle with in a lot of <laughs> relationships. Mm -hmm. You you don't? So Okay. So, I, I feel like, on your point, I think it's just, it's communication. Mm -hmm. Do you get? I feel like either <clears throat> you're communicating effectively mm -hmm. and they just don't want to hear or you're not communicating as effectively as, as, I think I am. as you think you are. Mm -hmm. For me, two things about accountability and the latter is because of the former. Mm -hmm. I was raised in an accountable household. 
even ah daddy gonna hold that accountability <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. he's gonna hold that accountability too like i was raised like when i say this so many people are like really i was raised in a household where even my if my parents fuck up they're gonna say sorry really 100 percent. what that's nice what do you know how many times i've uh, my me and my dad i've gone and i said no i'm not talking to you say so, to say sorry my and mom my dad used to actually say, say sorry. sorry to me actually like it, my my household wasn't a household of someone has done something and someone will say eh Food is ready. Do you want extra meat? We are not an extra meat household. Dina, who are you? Um, I think accountability is like expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that I've had the falling out recently with one of my closest girlfriends Mm -hmm. and everything blew up because you wouldn't be accountable. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're dealing with someone that can't admit when they're wrong, Mm -hmm. they can't be accountable because it just feels like an attack on their person as opposed to actually listen. listen. And some people like, they, they as a result become aggressive, whether it's like verbally or like, Mm -hmm. you know, try and Mm -hmm. almost Mm -hmm. gas, Mm -hmm. gaslight you. Mm -hmm. And for Mm -hmm. me, I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, I, I didn't come from a, home that was accountable to mm-hmm. be honest if my mom beats me and i was i mean she was wrong it's just it is what it is mm-hmm. but i i was raised to be straight mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. like you're never not going to know how i feel about you if it's necessary mm-hmm. and because of that i also in my tight meal but i'll be like ah you know what thinking back on that shisha okay my bad Mm-hmm. and let's just shut the fuck up about it and let's keep it moving mm-hmm. but once i see that at this point in my life if you're not accountable noted yeah it's just that i can't expect that from you and i just can't give myself a headache about your yeah, lack yeah so i feel like that will definitely change like the relationship and or would, that would definitely define how the relationship mm-hmm. goes right for me yeah because i mm-hmm. i'd be holding grudges like i don't care you the thing about me is I was saying it recently that I don't be holding grudges too. Like if I freed yeah. you, if, if if in my mind, right? Like because I I'm a, I'm a very emotional person, yeah. And I used to try to mask it before, but I've accepted it, yeah. and that's why alone time is very very important for me. Like mm-hmm. it's important for me to have time where I am just by myself, like thinking or fig- trying to figure stuff out. So it's sort of like when like a scenario like this happens, <laughs> I will process it to like the fullest. I will think about it, everything. And then once I make up my mind, once I make up my mind about how I want to handle it, that is literally what I'm going to do. So when I say hold grudges, I don't, so like with me and my girlfriend, sorry to like, because no, it's, cool. it's still pissing me off. <laughs> but, <laughs> It's very, it. fair, <laughs> girl. it's very fair. It was a very, it was a very simple situation of this is where it's happening. I think this is weird. What do you think? And from her side, it was attack, attack, mm-hmm. attack. And I was just like, I just lost my train of thought. But I, I was just like, look, um, if we can't have this level of communication and understanding at this level of relationship, I mean, fuck off. It sounds like the How, exact same thing that happens to me, doesn't it? If, yeah. If it wasn't a situation where the other party was aggressive towards me Mm -hmm. and it was more like an avoidant, passive Mm -hmm. type of thing, then I have to keep it noted because there's no reason to fight. Yes, but then Mm -hmm. sometimes Mm -hmm. people now want to now become mouthy and chatty and then... No, you can't be chatty to me. That (sighs) doesn't work. I don't do that. So we're not going to... Listen, eh? Immediately shutting it down. Listen. There's no space. Listen. Nah. I, I personally feel like, like you said, I like how you put it. That accountability is expensive. I feel that, especially depending on the situation, like even getting accountability from somebody, it can be, I don't think draining is the right word, but especially- It's hard work. Yeah. It is hard hard work. So for me, honestly, eh, accountability is only for people I love. Mm. Fair enough. Which is fair. If you've done something to me and I haven't checked you about it, don't think you've You're gone away with it. Mm-hmm. Your own is in front. When well, lie, mm-hmm. I swear. No be me. But your own is in front. Mm-hmm. But because you aren't in that proximity to me where it's really 
hurt me or it's really done mm-hmm. anything it's to not me. That deep you me. go your go and miss if I go yeah. my own. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. But my I I feel like I, I really thank God because like the I also feel it's the reproach as well. The 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 people I have around me, they are willing to listen to my grievances. As they should. No, 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 no. no. Some people don't. <laughs> I know. That, no, but that's like that's why I'm those saying. people are not around you. Yeah. So for me, I don't have I feel like my biggest op when it comes to accountability is Kemi Gabba. Voila. Oh yeah, mom, see, why? Yeah. Why? That one, she wants to do battle of a uh, battle uh battle duets. She want to do dance dance revolution with me. Why? And Where my dear, mean? I'm the two point two of you. I'm gonna win this battle. Oh, so of they words. always go back and forth. My yeah. mom, my mom. Oh my, lo- my mom loves it. That's the only way to describe it. Are you the it. first daughter, last? I daughter? am the last, but I masquerade as the oldest. I do. She's the last born. I'm right? the last born, but because there's such a big age gap yeah. between me and my siblings. I give only child vibes. So, okay. obviously, when I say, oh, I have siblings, most people automatically assume that uh, I'm the oldest just because of how I behave. I'm a child. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, there are a lot. I've, see, I've seen situations where people will say they're Cody's, they're friends, they're G's, yeah? Mm-hmm. And when they bring up a situation, it's almost very dismissive. And the dismissiveness comes from, we're too close for you to think, I would do that. Do you want? Does that make sense? Yes. And I think that one is insane. That so, is very insane because yes, you can. Yeah, nobody does. <laughs> no, yeah, so maybe. you know what's so funny? I it's so funny that you guys just said that because I was on the other end of that recently, where something happened and like my friend assumed one thing because of a conversation he had with a third party, hmm. but. And then he, 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 so he assumed something and then he now came to ask me uh-huh. about the assumption. The, the assumption, But I felt like he came at me in a accusatory way. And he probably did, in all honesty. So he, he, he so we've, we, 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 we've hashed out. He, mm-hmm. he, he did say that he did. But then, so in his head, he's thinking, I just heard this thing. It's upsetting me. Like, why would... Why would um why would Valerie do this sort of mm-hmm. and coming to like meet me to talk to me about it? And on my own, I'm just like, guy, hey, what are you even talking about? Because like this, this, that, and the other. So when that interaction happened and I cleared it, he was like, Oh, that that's why he came to ask because he thought it was a bit weird, right? And I'm like, Yeah, but I just feel like it's weird how like your sentence was framed. Mm-hmm. And he said it was all good. So, like, this person, I've known him for a really, really long time. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even a scenario that was that deep. Mm-hmm. But I appreciate him asking me about it. But then I felt like, how because of how him. long, no, because of how long I've known him, I felt, I really, really, I get it, him asking me, but I just really feel like, he, like, as he asked me, he realized that he shouldn't have asked me mm-hmm. because... Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should know him more. Um, I just felt like, I just felt, maybe it was my ego. I don't know. But I did feel, I did feel a certain type of way about it. And I definitely, like, let him know. And, um, we, we like, we, we figured, we sorted the task mm-hmm. and everything. But I, I was just saying, like, I was on the receiving end of, because you guys said yeah, that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you guys are like, oh, that you shouldn't. That's just feel like, there's, like, I, I, I don't think nobody's beyond doing anything. Mm-hmm. But that is what, like, bond and friendship is, right? Like, mm-hmm. I still have to have that setting, trust that, like, I should be jarred if you do this to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, mm-hmm. do you get what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was like, there's just some things that I really genuinely believe that my friends don't think I ah, can dispute to me or like I beg like I don't want to be running around like I want to have actual genuine relationships but is it wrong if like okay so I was listening to something this morning mm-hmm. and the lady was saying how her friend is very like friendly with her husband and he, like she would take selfies with him but he's not online so she would say don't post it online mm-hmm. and then this situation happened where um, she was supposed to come and pick something up from their house and she said she wasn't going to be at home. Then the friend texted her and said that, oh, your husband is so funny that I, 
I managed to stop by your house and pick up the thing. And she's like, she wants to have the conversation with her friend, but she's not really, she doesn't want them to feel like she thinks they could do something. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Just because you think it's out of your character, if the scenario is looking a type of way, that I should be able different. to ask you. No, but it, I'm the not saying argument... that. I'm not saying that you should not be able to. No, there's no argument about it. Yeah. Like I'm not. I, I like I'm saying like I understand why everybody like fulfills the way they feel in that yeah. scenario. I'm just saying that that's why I said maybe it was my ego that was hurt or bruised in the process, but the way the question was framed just made me feel some type of way. Okay, but outside of like that scenario, so let's say this lady, how do you approach that kind of situation? Because just, truly, you probably are just trying to be friendly with the man, right? This is just an example. Yeah. You're just trying to be friendly. That's your bro and stuff like that. But on the other hand, is it the the, the woman in question so that's one guy? Let me tell you. The, the lady's friend. friend. Yes. Yeah, no, she's. Let me tell you why that's problematic. Then, it's problematic it's because. Problematic. because she had said she wanted to pick up something and she had said she was not at home. home. If the option of her going, if she was comfortable with her going to pick she it would up, have said, with, oh, but you could have said, oh, said but, oh, my husband is actually at home so you yeah. can't go home. But that information was not given. Hmm. So the fact that so she did not suggest bad. that means that she like she, she didn't want that to be an option and that's, that's why it feels like well, a topic personally. yeah so the yeah. argument is just i don't know in the show they were just talking about how she shouldn't ask that she's probably just been paranoid that she, since they're that's friends no this is black nigerian people they're not nigerian enough so mm-hmm. i was just like for me personally i'm not having all that shit so they're not mm-hmm. nigerian enough clearly. honestly like you know like i know that you can never really necessarily stop anything that's going to happen and you can never be too careful and all that yada yada stuff well, if someone is obviously crossing a boundary for you, you there's no reward yeah. for like chesting it. Honestly, like honestly, like why? Why are you why chesting it? For real. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like there is literally no benefit. Like there's no reward. Mm-hmm. And I, I I learned that I learned that the hard way, man. Same. I had this weird like thing where I'll say, Oh, but you did like when something happens and like the person doesn't forgive me, I'm like, ah, but you did this and this and this. And the person was like, eh? Why did you not talk? <laughs> Oh my god, that was a that was an insane wake up call for me. Like it was, and since that day, I feel like the transition of like like relationships and how you respond to people slighting you has continued to like evolve. Mm-hmm. I've gone to the stage where if I'm upset with you, I'm like, yo, I'm upset at what you did. This is why I'm upset at what you did. It's left for you to take it how you want to take it. Like I just will not be rude. I would never be exactly. rude. I feel like, yeah. Do you I get? Like I will not be rude. The, the but if you if you want to start being rude, I will get. Rude. No, but some yeah. people they're your guys, but they just can't help. But that it's a, it's like it you trigger something as yes. soon as you ask them that no, question I and it's know, attack. I don't yes. know people like that. Who, You'll be surprised me, until no, you actually have to no, confront know, them about me, something. I don't know people like that because me. I like, let me not say it anymore because I said I'm I'm a soft girl. I don't do things. But, gone are the days um but no nah, like i feel like when you're picking out your friends you need to open your eyes wide you can never be too careful though, my sister open your eyes wide you know because listen then, you can never be too careful honestly and that's just that's just that's just the fact about life you can never be too careful i honestly. i i know because mm-hmm. even <laughs> <laughs> I was having a conversation with somebody, so I just remember something. I was having a conversation with someone, and I, I like I kept remembering the conversation. That's why I kept laughing. And we were talking about making bad decisions, and so my friend was saying something like, "Um, she doesn't know along the lines of she thinks I always make like poor, poor. She thinks I make poor decisions sometimes. Okay, and she thinks that I make poor decisions when." <laughs> let's say okay so let's let's assume dina is saying i make poor decisions because you're around <laughs> and i was like girl i don't need this baby i was like i don't need this baby to I be around so, like i, I like independent do you, do you get what i'm saying <laughs> so it was just so funny because like I, I like it was kind of her sort of blaming that person and oh, saying like God. that person is like the cause of your bad decision making meanwhile no it's just it's all you I, it's a very independent no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was really funny I thought that was really funny uh, Dina what are you thinking just like 
you, you, are you thinking about the friend that you had the yeah. thing with? If you know, she keeps crossing my mind because, yeah, she does. That, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It, was, it got very ugly. Yeah, so, it feels like, but, it feels like it, is this conversation is hitting you. Yeah, it is. Because it's. I find that in a lot of relationships, a lot of human beings are not... I don't know if it's a self-awareness thing mm-hmm. or if it's I don't give a fuck thing or if it's a mental ailments i don't really know <laughs> all of the above but like a lot of people actually i find there's two people two di- different types of people the ones that are refusing to be accountable and the ones that do weird shit mm-hmm. passively mm-hmm. but then will be accountable mm-hmm. yeah. so you know but all in all everybody's still like very weird mm-hmm. and i don't know never really know i mean but you can never tell with human beings until you're in this situation with them. I think so. so. Mm-hmm. I think you can never tell. Um, I think like it's it's kind of why like um people say like I don't think like seeing someone when they're obsessed is their true colors. I just feel like you just need to see people in all the phases of their lives, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and not even necessarily because you want to run away, but because it's best to know like sort of what what, what you're working what you with. Like, don't let anything take me by surprise. Honestly, things will just take you by surprise. That's just the no, thing but about the life. Surprise is not going to be as much as it is uh, if you didn't know. <laughs> I o- I always say that there there's only so much surprise my friends can surprise huh. me no mm. i'm telling you <laughs> no no Dinner, don't get me please. wrong please don't get me wrong there's always Girl. an exception to the rule you guys say you never see anything no i don't want i don't even want to see bro if you're living life you'll see you no mm. not necessarily me like i say this is this is i think everybody should adopt this thing you know honestly i've seen some very interesting things Especially in Lagos. No, that's this is why I developed this mechanism. I have my inner circle. You people Tommy is very, have very the power like, to ruin me. I, I think she's she's like she's very um she has like this how should I simplify? She has like two factor authentication before you become fifty thousand percent. <laughs> she's very what? like she's very like hmm. Let I can't <laughs> lie. The people that are like my She's own, me. my own, we we, eh? They have the power to ruin me. They ca- they can ruin me. Tommy if is they very want to. Tommy is very very guarded. But you know what? That is true. You know what? Eh? If you come and ruin me, I ruin you. We both go down. Oh yes, now you have to ruin each other. Collective <laughs> you know ruining. Collective mutual ruining. You know? I hear However, that. However, anybody outside of that circle. My mm. dear, there's a limit to what you can do to me. Well, like, eh? Fair enough. I think that's one way to definitely look at I things. I have heard but of the like, friendship traumas you people used to collect, like Pokemon in Lagos. I don't want to fuck up. What did you want to say? I feel like again in multiple the, there's so many kinds of relationships. You can have business relationships mm-hmm. where you really get, you know, if I have okay, I have people that work for me, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm on their asses about. I need you to produce this and you're not producing that. But what they require from me, I'm not giving it to them 100%. Mm-hmm. And I'm not being held accountable to those people. What happens? Exactly. Like, Everybody yeah, suffers. Yeah. But this is a very common and real life scenario. Mm-hmm. In Niger, you get what I'm... Yes, I, mean, I think absolutely. anywhere. I think human beings are very... Th- human beings are very basic creatures. Mm-hmm. Essentially, most people act the same baseline. Yeah. Yeah, you know? So... It could be the guy you just met and you're having a cool time and something where it could be anything. So it's just mm-hmm. be, it's beyond like your type friendships because I would say that the people that have, that have disrespected me the most and you know I'm not really a pushover. Mm-hmm. You know I I feel like I respect myself so you have no choice but to respect me. Mm-hmm. But they're still the closest people to me. Mm-hmm. If I've ever had a fight with anybody, it's someone I've known for fifteen plus mm-hmm. years. Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't think it's about like picking carefully or mm-hmm. being guarded. You're still exposed to some people. I and so. them not being accountable isn't necessarily an attack on you. It's just a circumstance of experiences that made them like that. So mm-hmm. it's not also like about picking bad people, I don't think. But can I ask a question? Sure. As you're getting to know people, yeah. right? Wouldn't you know about how, whether or not they can take accountability early on? Does what do you mean? Sense? I don't think I would because we're not we're not that deep. 
No, but you're en route. Like, you guys no. are getting to know... Like, the, especially... I feel like childhood friends, people you've known for, like, 10, 15 years are a little bit different. Because, obviously, you guys, as your character is developing, you people are developing your character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, say, okay, hi, friend, right? Mm-hmm. Aren't there certain things you would look out for as you're getting to know the people? <sighs> I, I, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, guys, but then at the end of the day, I feel like people can make an effort to be your friend and then still do rubbish. But mm-hmm. then I kind of wanted to, so can we sort of talk about any scenario where someone that fucked up actually took accountability? Do you have any scenarios like that? Like they fully, like they fully owned it and you felt com- compensated by how they responded to you expressing yourself. Do you have any scenarios yeah, like that? My mom. Okay. Fair I enough. spoke to my mom about like stuff that happened to me when I was younger mm-hmm. and, and we had a healing conversation. I love that. Yeah. I really I love that. So, I mean, yeah. But you have to be willing to. Yeah. Be, that's it, the thing. It, it's, it's really tough, isn't it? What about you? Um, <laughs> so my toxic trait is that I don't know how to forgive. Um, no, I don't give people room to be held accountable. Like when it gets like, there's just some places that it gets to that is either that. I don't fuck with them at all or mm. like I've just compartmentalized what they are. Mm. But like I really I just I just feel like especially because I used to be like a people pleaser and it's sort of a pushover when mm. I was younger. Um once and it takes a lot for me to try to step away from a situation. Mm. So I feel like if I have gone into the stage where I feel like is this bad mm. that I'm like I'm struggling like now. So I don't ha- I don't think I have any. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or good. <laughs> I think it's a testament to people. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? You got one time to show your ass in me and I ain't coming back. <laughs> no. Um, I feel like I have been in the situation. So with me, um, I don't know how to describe it. I can hear your apology, accept your apology, believe your apology, but I will never fuck with you again. Yeah, same. That's, that's very much... Same. Depending on what it is, it's not everybody you... But honestly, depending on the level of the gr- grievance, right, I feel like, bro, no, I I can't trust you enough to have you in that space, do you get? Yeah. And I was in a situation with someone and they really did apologize and, like, I felt that, like, I honestly... I felt their apology here. Mm. I felt it here. You know, I even shed a tear. See, yeah, I, I can feel not the rhyming. Three years. <laughs> when I say, that's, what, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I can, I can feel your apology in my soul. Oh, well, guys, in my soul. You don't, yeah, don't everything feel. is blocked. This shit like, is like, thank you, but I can't. I don't want to hear the accountability. The yeah, you get that's like, what I'm saying. It's, like, it's like, too I'm late like, now, bro. I'm so sorry. Auntie. Honestly, like, like I don't. You shouldn't have done that. You, you, shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done that. Thing. That's. But do you know what? Yeah, I I'm gonna say something that might be a little controversial, but I don't think it should be controversial. Mm-hmm. I think it's really difficult to be weird. I think, I think having regular, well, not regular, but like lots of, well, not lots, like small, small tiffs. Like you've done something small to irritate or upset me. Mm-hmm. It's a conversation. We can get over that. I didn't like what you did in this. I feel like that's very normal. Absolutely. But when people do grandiose things <laughs> that, are, <laughs> that are weird, yeah. He just said grandiose. <laughs> I just think that is something that's really difficult. She was to definitely do. thinking about something when she one, said One, yeah. That's number one. I've only had two people in my life do weird shit to me. Only two people. What constitutes as weird, you know, out of the person. ordinary? Because yeah, I don't know why you're saying only two people. I swear, only two people. I swear, <laughs> there are more, my dear. Plenty people have done weird. Like, let's just be free. Because like, there are lots of things. Like, there are varying levels of weird. I agree, 
but what is weird is weird. Like, like if if this shit threw you off, even if it was for a mini second, it's like, ah, go. it's weird. Please, like, <laughs> no, the, I like, feel, I personally feel that digestible levels of weird. Yeah? But those weird like, ac- accumulate into a bomb no. big weird. No, no. If the weird is regular weird. Not yeah? regular weird. If the weird is regular weird, like mm. it's not out of pocket shit. It's like, okay, I can, I can Wait. even see mm. myself being in this situation. Like, okay, for example, now, yeah, let's take, let's take my lateness, right? And let me say, Valerie is waiting at Salma's. Blo- beep that out. Valerie is waiting at a restaurant, yeah, and I've told her I'm on a Zumba. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm at home. Do you understand? Like, do you get that sort of pee? Like, (laughs) Valerie, thank God she's blessed with incredible timekeeping, could possibly one day see myself in that situation. That is an out of pocket weird. That's irritating. That's frustrating. That's you're you're annoying me by being. Do you understand what, what I'm saying? A, but it's not out of pocket weird. You will not tell somebody that, and they say ha. Okay, yeah, like so. Yeah, so like I feel like you're, you're for you. You're thinking of like the and it, it's it's how do I explain this? Like it's sort of because of how you have this two factor authentication thing that I said that like takes a while for people to get into you. That's why you only think about very extreme things as what can be a reason why you cut someone off. But me that I'm a bit more friendly and whatever, and like I talk not that I have a lot of friends, you know, you know who my friends mm-hmm. are. But like I feel like because I'm more friendly, mm-hmm. I'm it's more easier for me to just like sift through people because it's like you just hang out, you like we hang out with someone and like, oh yeah, we should hang out with you. Nine times out of ten, you don't. But the one time you do, you now realize that ah, Justin has a weird vibe. Just a little bit too pushy, a little bit too mouthy, a little bit too like you just notice, you just get one ache. Like maybe the person just won't just fucking shut up about like I don't yeah. know things that do, do. Oh shit, won't just fucking shut up about things that like don't even like do you get what i mean mm. like you can just get like random minor eggs mm. that are weird yeah. and then you just be like yeah i'm like, not do it again yeah for I sure just, honestly i just i go through my life feeling that honestly it takes a lot of energy strength time and planning that i do not have to be a weirdo fair enough sure but okay. there's some people that clearly <laughs> I want us. I want us to play that rapid fire question that I played with you on the last Not episode me. with her. Okay, with her. I, I want us to Michael do it. With, <laughs> don't kill me. So we did a rapid fire question with I uh, with Toby on the last episode. Okay, and it's just pretty much you're just supposed to sort of like the first thing that comes to your head. Yeah. Word association. <sighs> okay. It's it's not a lot. It's literally like eight. Oh, that's okay. It's not a lot. Okay, so the first one is fun. Money. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, fair. I agree. Actually, like you know, this yeah. is this, this is going to actually no now become my money, absolute yeah. favorite segment of the show because yeah. when I said fun, she said tequila. Okay, but money, I, I hear <laughs> that. I agree in a big way. Um, uh, what do you think of when you hear car? Ferrari. Okay. Um, what did you think of when you hear brand? Hermes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's right. <laughs> this one said McDonald's. <laughs> but that's also a very good brand. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. You know, to be honest, I agreed with Hermes and McDonald's. Yeah. I like fair. But Hermes <laughs> too. Um, when you hear music? Whitney Houston. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. What do you think of when you hear politics? Wiki. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Mind you. That was very interesting. Oh my god, that's a good one. Um, how about food? Jollof rice. Okay. Mm. Well, what do you think of when you hear white? Pure. Or when you hear black? Sexy. This fool said Michael Jackson. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And the last one I said wristwatch. 
Roly, because I really want one. Let me see. <laughs> she said Roly too. Okay. I feel like that's it's like a cute way to actually get to know a person a little bit more. Yeah. That's very interesting. That's Ferrari, Ferrari was a very interesting card yeah. choice. What color would you? What color Spicy came to your red. mind? Red. But yeah. it's not even my car of spec. That's why I'm surprised why it came out. Rather, I'm more of a Porsche type of girl. Oh, that's my puppy's okay. name, by the way, guys. Oh, wow. What breed is your dog? She's a mix between um, Eskimo and Retriever. Oh, wow. That's so she looks like so a, she's big? She looks like is a she mini big? Labrador. <laughs> it's just it's so weird, yeah. Oh, Maybe I start calling so her a miniature so Labrador. Yeah. That is so cute. Her name is Porsche. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. love dogs. How is your dog? He's fine. How old is your dog? He's going to be one year on the oh. 3rd of October. Hey. How was your first year of dog momming? Hey. I know, right? I think, I think he did <laughs> a pretty dear, decent job. Let me not lie. The fact that both of us are still alive. <laughs> glory. <laughs> glory to the most high. This guy is a today, today, I... Well, Tell me, yeah, it's uh, was still actually cute. Let me not lie. Eh? He's like a mother. <laughs> He's like a mother. He's His like mother. His oh, okay, mother. okay. Yeah, I think dogs mirror you, though, no? They do. They you do. think that thing is true? I absolutely. Like he follows my moods. Absolutely. Yeah. He follows my yeah. moods. If absolutely. I'm like, he'll, he'll be bouncing off the walls, yeah. zoomies. Absolutely. If I'm more chilled, he just wants to sit there. But the problem I'm having now. Is when I take him out and I want to come down from the car, he will now start acting like, No, I must follow you. Oh. Mr. Gwinga is in the car, oh, my driver is in the car, oh. but I say, No, wherever you must go, I follow. Then so cute. Today, I now discovered he doesn't like windshield wipers. He's scared of windshield wipers. Uh, he tried to attack them. Oh. And he lunged at the window. Oh, my and God. He knocked his head. Oh. And I had to hold him and say, if you do it again and you knock yourself out and I have to take you to, to the vet. Because the vet is expensive. To, to deal my with dear. your concussion, hmm. I'm going to sell you. Ah. I'll sell you. You will not sell I him. Will s- eh? You will literally not sell him. Trust me. I won't. He's been ill once this year. Seriously. Do you remember? Did you see him when he was ill? No, I didn't. He had a skin infection. Oh. And they had to shave off, off it, all his fat. Yeah. And he lost so much weight. Oh, and poor then baby. When I went to the vet, yeah. <laughs> I put in a picture of the before and after. When I went to the you vet, You didn't believe yeah, it was your dog? Uh, they put him away from the other ah, dogs, yeah. Oh they like God. so I walked in and one naked ro- mole rat started barking at me and then I was like I can hear Fonz what's where's where's Fonz? <laughs> I can hear it's like, in the naked mole rat. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm actually dead. And then he was depressed because they oh, cut with his hair. Poor baby. Aww. No, but it's actually it's it's a real thing having a dog. The emotions are very real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when my dog and died. the work. I got is... a tattoo after my dog died. Oh. Yeah. So How old was the dog? I had him for like six months. <gasps> was it that short? Yeah. What happened? Damn. He had canine distemper. distemper. What? How it's like Pavo. She's three. Oh, oh my! Like my dog that. got Pavo no. at like one and a half. I can't. I was just being irresponsible. Oh, I no, wouldn't wait, take it. One, one and a half. All the vaccines. I don't know. Jesus. No, I think you have to take more than one, no? Yeah. Or maybe how I just you, never gave you, my dog. I really don't know. Survivors. Do you know that I took her to Critters and I thought it was just something small. Her intestine had collapsed when they did the um, x-ray and they had to separate her from all the other dogs, essentially. Yes. And they told me it was 50-50. Yes, me too. I found another, um, I found a vet just by the palace. Yeah. And I went there and they're just like, to be honest, we're going to try our best, but she might not make it. I mean, I just burst into tears. Yes, me too. I was like, yeah. what the hell? Then I called yeah. my mom. I was like, mommy, is what I yeah. mom said, to be honest, Ajaye, oh, cuckoo, they take care. Yeah, cuckoo. Ah! She said, no, 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 I'm just sorry. God forgive me, mommy. Actually, she said that she had a dream that my dog died. That's oh what she told God. me. Oh, no. 
Yeah. And every time I was like, your dreams, please. My dog did not die. Oh to, to yourself. But, you know, she survived. Mm. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. And now she's always at the vet. Any small yeah. thing, I want to know what's wrong. Yeah. Any small thing, I don't want to hear anything. I'll take him to the vet. Honestly. Desk. Sorry. Life is just, you see. It's crazy. It's but crazy. she survived. Yeah. Sorry, does, has anyone watched Selling Sunset? Good yeah. Question. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Guys, this. Should we do this on, I feel like we should just finish the, episode, the podcast because if we continue, if you talk about Selling Sunset now, we'll talk for another Sorry, I just wanted to talk minutes. about one scene. Two things about the scene. When they were like, um, when they were like, uh, what's the dog's name? Nico or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it this, mo- this morning. They were like, uh, I just want to say, Nico, he has okay, kidney I failure. Okay, I felt like when Jason was crying, I was like, okay, Jason. I, like, like, you know, I thought it was a human, so I rewinded it. No, and they're like 18. Like, they're just like, why is this scene? Here? Like, I get it's sad. Don't get me wrong. It's but sad. It was just giving. There was something that was funny. And there was it. something that was very off, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I started looking at Fodsworth. And I was like, I'd be sad. Also, I don't what breed of, like what this. breed of, you cry. What breed of dogs are those? Like, they're, they're, they're like crossbreeds miniatures. Miniatures already have problems, yeah? And then you now crossbreed the miniature. Mm. That dog isn't going to survive for very long. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Selling Sunset was so interesting. Okay, quick one. Like, whose side, who side are you? Whose side are you guys on? I'm not on Chelsea's side. You know, I was until I started calculating it myself and the babe said that she knew the information before mm-hmm. the Who, show Bree said she knew the information mm-hmm. before? Bree said she already told Chelsea, like, three months prior yeah oh. so i was just like so what are you you're saying somebody went to the cameras but you're playing for the cameras Chelsea, right now Chelsea so it's like, like, everybody but that was she entered but no exactly. but she said it she said that you know it has nothing to do i think she's upset that it was brought to tv yeah i think that's really what it is yes but like i, I feel like she cannot be upset that she was brought to tv because when she was abusing brie and them like, she yeah. was abusing her on tv now 100 percent. well last she season, said that's yes. that's exactly I think I what i last season. Season. I'm I'm she said about brie it's stuff she said about brie she said that she thinks that the fact that Brie is having children with a um, man like yeah, broken homes is disgusting. Yeah, she's disgusting. That what she's doing is disgusting. She's propagating oh, see, the creation know, of you broken homes. I took homes. a break it's after. Disgusting. Yes, that's, yes, exactly that's what, what she, she said. said. But you know what? She's playing the new villain. Yeah. No, I don't. So, so, so that's what I'm saying. So that's, so that's what I'm saying. Like if you did all of that, right? Mm. This girl is going to want to embarrass you, especially but with the things that accountability. Own it. Me, I won't. I won't throw hands and hide my. Me, I'm like say it. own it with your chest. I, We're I rocking out right you know what, now, yeah. so. I personally feel yeah that. Okay, fair. We literally said we're not going to talk about certain sunsets. Sorry, guys. Um, this, I, you know what? Let's wrap up the show and then we'll continue talking about oh, yeah, certain sunsets. <laughs> Sorry, you won't get the tea. Um, thank you so much for list. tuning into this episode of the podcast. Um, Dina, do you want to tell them where they can find you on Instagram um, or everywhere? You guys can find me, Dina Ade, everywhere. Spotify, Instagram, all that good stuff. D W E N A A D E. And if you want to follow me on my Yoruba adventures on TikTok, it is Madam Suya. Oh yeah, she does get ready. I've seen her get ready with me that she was speaking Yoruba. Yeah. That. That's that. cute. So yeah. cute. Um, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. As our handle remains local Facebook pod across all platforms, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace and love.